XDG desktop portals are an ever-growing standard for Linux desktop interoperability and dealing with permissions in sandbox or sandbox-like environments like a flat pack and a snap. Let's say, for example, you want to have an application with a file chooser and a different file chooser based on the desktop you're currently using. Well, the file chooser portal. Maybe you want to have a flat pack that can interact with your regular system trash. The trash portal. Maybe you want to have a snap that can print out a file. Well, the print portal. Or even the most famous example of Wayland desktop capture getting Pipewire video into OBS. The screencast portal. But even though a lot of really cool portals have been merged into the project, many of which you just may have never even heard of, it doesn't mean that every single portal idea is going to be merged. And today, we're looking at one of those cool options. Feature request, a share portal giving experience somewhat like that of Android. So the idea is very simple. On your Android or iOS smartphone, if you go to something like your gallery application, for example, there is going to be a little share button. You can then send that image into another application. Let's say, for example, to your Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp or Discord or anything else like that. So if you send it to Discord, it might make a message. Maybe you have a functionality there that lets you set that image as your Discord profile picture. Maybe you want to send it to like an image editor so you can go and make some modification to it. This is a fairly standard feature on smartphones now that you probably use on a pretty regular basis without even really thinking about it. And an image gallery is just a simple example. You might also see this in a note-taking application. You could send that note into a Discord group or into another notes app or into an online note service. This is something that a lot of applications make use of. And you might scoff at the idea of your desktop becoming more mobile-like. But I don't hate this idea. And if you don't like the idea of using it, then just don't go and use it. A lot of websites have a share this page to Twitter or share it to Reddit button. I just don't really go and use it. But outside of browsers, you don't really see this on desktop Linux. Now, technically, you don't need a desktop portal to do this. You'll see this in some application ecosystems. The issue with that is then it is going to be very application specific. Having a portal provides a consistent interface that everybody knows how to take data from and add data to. But maybe that doesn't really matter to you, which is totally fair. In which case, there is another really cool use for the portal. So this is an issue over on the Eclipse Flatpak. And inside of this IDE, and inside of pretty much any IDE, if you have a large project with a lot of resources, not everything in your project is going to be code. You might have images for icons, maybe you have some 3D models that are being loaded and things like that. And inside of Eclipse, you're supposed to be able to go and right click on one of those resources and then open it in an application that can actually view that data. In the flat pack, you can't actually see the rest of your system applications, so you can't do that, at least without breaking the sandbox open. But if you think about this issue, it's basically the same thing as sharing. You want to share it to another application. You want to open with another application. And one of the developers in this thread realized exactly this and said, hey, go and check out the share portal. But this issue is from two years ago, and the share portal is only from three days ago. It's not actually from three days ago. This is a duplicate issue. The original share portal is from six years ago. It was issue number 12. It was made very shortly after the project was actually formed. And the description is terrible, but it doesn't look like it's ever been modified. So either it's always been this bad or GitHub changed the way they actually save descriptions. The idea for the sharing portal is that applications can describe support for this in their desktop file implement org.freedesktop.share and no other information. But this got a bunch of upvotes, so presumably it said something useful at some point. 
But considering how early this was made in the life of Portals, it didn't exactly get much feedback. The first comment was three years later. This was an example of how it might be implemented, so it's a great comment. And there was one more comment in 2019 about whether this would be useful or what could use it, things like that. And nothing else said here for another three years. It was made at a really inconvenient time. But even though it's been relatively quiet, it's not like nobody's been talking about this over the years. Back in 2021, there was another duplicate issue. Add a share portal. It would be interesting to have a portal to lay to share text, photos, music, files between applications. All apps should have a config file that includes what type of file they support and the actions they want to do when receive that file. For example, you have a picture so you can publish it on Twitter or send it to a friend and, and all this stuff could be ironed out as you go on. But if you're not sure how this might work, this also includes a GNOME style mockup. So you would go and select the file and you have some sort of window where you can decide where you want to send it. Maybe you want to go and send it to a application on your system or maybe you like Bluetooth it to another device. If you go on Bluetooth it, then it brings up another Bluetooth window. Otherwise on the applications, it'll show you a list of everything that is supported by this program. Obviously a very early mock-up, but I could see Gnome doing something kind of akin to this, albeit a little bit more polished. And as you'd probably expect, someone directed this person over to the original issue back in 2016. But as we saw, they didn't exactly leave a comment, so it looks like there's even less interest than there really is. Now, GNOME being used for the mock-up may just be a coincidence. This person might just be a fan of GNOME. But GNOME actually is involved in this story as well, because around the time that original issue was made was around the time the last edit was made to this wiki, sharing. And this sounds awfully like what that portal would be doing. Allow content to be passed between sandbox applications. E.g. attach a document to an email, edit a picture that you are viewing, send a contact to a friend via chat. Access to system services from sandbox applications. E.g. send a contact via Bluetooth, set a picture as your wallpaper, view a photo on your TV using DLNA, which I don't know what that is, copied to the clipboard. Now, this was made back in 2016. A lot of these things are being addressed by separate portals. Third one, post to online accounts, e.g. post a photo on Twitter, post a video on Facebook, share a link to a blog post on Google+. That really shows how old this is. Upload a photo to Flickr. And other potential system share points might be out of scope. Save and print. This is definitely out of scope, there is a separate printing portal. And below there is some art on how this looks on various other systems. Now, a lot of the links in here are a little bit dead, um, but the Windows 8 ones still work. And we all know how sharing features work, you can just send it to a thing you want to send it to. I didn't realise this feature was ever on Windows, and I use Windows up until Windows 10. Um, I guess that goes to show why this probably never got implemented because nobody on desktop really cares enough. Also, here are some mock-ups of how they may look inside a GNOME. So this is some sort of gallery application, I guess, and it works pretty much as you'd expect from Android and things like that. You can send it somewhere. If you're sending it to Facebook, for example, you may want to go and attach a description or comment or whatever you want to do. But what if I told you that this proposal was based on another, even older proposal? And I know it's based on that because they link it as a resource down the bottom here. This is from the Apertus Wiki. Now, you've very likely never heard of Apertus because they're not really involved in desktop Linux. Apertus is actually involved in automotive Linux. In this case, it would be for your like head unit, entertainment center, whatever you want to call it. This once again aged itself because this was made around the time that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto first got released to the public. Now, all of that sharing history is all well and good, but whatever happened to the sharing desktop portal? Well, that's the thing. Not much. 
because a lot of these endeavors, like the gnome sharing, didn't really go anywhere. If they did, I could have imagined this being pushed through. But as it stands, this was last commented on a couple of days ago, and that was a comment about him making a duplicate issue. Before that, it was three weeks ago, but before that, three years ago. So no one's really interested in actually getting this implemented. I think it would be a really cool feature though. And being issue number 12, a lot of the core portals were just getting implemented. If we go back to issue number two, I believe this is... Okay, that's the portal for network connectivity. I know one of these early ones is for printing. Yeah, issue number three is printing. We just barely got one of the basic portals implemented a few weeks earlier. So this being a really big endeavor, needing support from all of the desktops, just wasn't really going to happen at the time. And the place I could see this making a lot of sense is mobile Linux. But mobile Linux is only just barely, just barely becoming a system you might want to daily drive. It is still very much a developer system and you probably shouldn't go and do so, but it's just starting to get to the point where it is a smooth and well-designed experience. Go look at what GNOME Mobile is doing and tell me I'm wrong there. So I could absolutely see a resurgence of interest, but right now, that hasn't exactly happened. Maybe after this video it will? I don't know. But let me know your thoughts about a sharing portal in the comment section down below. Is that something you would go and use? Do you think some of the other use cases like the Eclipse case is also useful? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, send me a pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody on Games. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out.